the theory of evolution, described by many as the most important idea in science today. The processes behind it have shaped life on Earth for over three and a half billion years. First Year Biology presents Darwin's Natural Selection. When Charles Darwin published his book, The Origin of the Species by Means of Natural Selection, way back on the 24th of November, 1859, he knew it would upset some people, that some would find its ideas hard to swallow. The initial seeds of the theory reach back as far as the ancient Greeks, but it was the combined, often subtle influences of many scholars over the years coupled with a life-changing voyage to the other side of the world that led a young Charles Darwin to formulate one of the most important scientific theories of our time. As the driving force behind the theory of evolution, Darwin's natural selection is beautiful in its simplicity. Billions of years of change distilled down to five key facts and three logical inferences. Fact 1. An individual will often have more offspring than are expected to survive. Babies are great. And fact two, the number of individuals in a population tends to remain stable. In other words, the world we live in is a dangerous place. There is the constant threat of being killed, eaten, or hit by a bus. Staying at home simply leaves you vulnerable to gas explosions, carbon monoxide poisoning, and maybe even toxoplasmosis. Having lots of babies increases the chance of your species surviving, but death is rarely more than one step behind, and he likes the taste of children. In the wild, many of an individual's offspring will not survive to adulthood. Fact 3. Our planet, as amazing as it is, only has a limited number of natural resources. While everyone wants some, not everybody will get some. Fact 4. Everyone is different. No two individuals are alike. And, fact 5, many of these differences that make us who we are, are heritable. But what does this mean? It is sometimes these differences between us that make us faster stronger, more attractive, or what Darwin liked to call fitter, basically more likely to get laid and or survive. This fitness means that the very things that make us fit will likely be inherited by our offspring, meaning they get laid more too. These traits will spread through and accumulate in the population. And that, in a nutshell, is Darwin's and Wallace's natural selection. Not design, not chance, but the gradual accumulation over billions of years of traits and characteristics that impart success upon a species. It is the fundamental principle that has taken life from single-celled organisms to the multitude of species that we see today.